Good morning. We are starting off this video fresh out of bed because I just decided, you know, I'm going to see my cousin today for her birthday, so I want to just get ready with you all. Um, and I have a lot of skincare I wanted to try out as well. Um, so a lot of this I'm actually going to give to my sister because um, I actually got it sent to me from these brands when my sister was like, let me try that but i wanted to try it first you know what i mean so i'm gonna go ahead and put on this face mask by dermalogica this is the hydro mask exfoliant and my sister said that you know she likes dermalogica and she wants to keep this because she sees a difference in her skin so we'll see i don't really like exfoliant masks but i just thought it'd be fun to try and while i have this mask on i'm actually going to finish the laundry that's on my bed um just so that i can multitask today uh, oh oh so there's a little um, pump here and you don't squeeze the bottle it's um, a pressure pump so you just press it down and the mask comes out oh that's nice I like that there are micro exfoliants in here from what I could feel um, but it's nothing super crazy um, do you guys remember like way back in the day when that Aveeno positively radiant scrub was everything and you know you found it at Costco you found it at Target and you know how it was just like so micro exfoliating on the skin this is like that but even more lightweight let me squeeze it out again to show y'all oh so satisfying i love that i love it so much this isn't going to be precise because i can't really see plus i don't really care i know some people like they love to apply their mask like in a way where it like looks oh where it looks like they could be in a commercial but i'm not that girl sorry it's evenly applied it feels even so i'm going to keep it that way um, and then I'm supposed to leave this on for three to five minutes. I'm back. I also realized I didn't have my microphone plugged in, so maybe I just sound more crisp and clear right now. Um, I found that the mask was very hydrating. Um, I didn't really feel a huge difference in the smoothness of my skin, but at the same time, um, I don't want to make it sound like I'm like tooting my own horn, but I feel like I have pretty soft skin as it is. I only exfoliate my skin probably once a week, and that gives me enough time for me to feel like I'm not over exfoliating between uses so this mask was really nice um, I do recommend it but I felt like whenever I pumped it out um, the air pump that's on the side here I feel like it went down pretty far there was a lot that I used already so um, I'm gonna give this to my sister because she really wanted it Dermalogica sent me a huge PR package of different skincare items as well, but I wanted to show you guys what my morning routine is because I haven't really done an updated one in quite some time now. So typically after the mask in the morning, I will go in with some toner. This one is by Vanilla Co. And you might know them from their balm cleanser. And this is their Dear Hydration Toner. This stuff is so crazy. I actually bought this at Forever 21 when they were closing and I kid you not I bought this for a dollar I don't know why I didn't go back to get more but I was at the time using up a different toner so I didn't open this so now that all of the forever 21s are out of business I can't get it for a dollar anymore so I'm just gonna go ahead and pat this into my skin like so and then I do the same with my essence. Now you guys have heard me talk about this one for about two years now. She's not new at all. In fact, she's discontinued, which sucks, but this is the last backup bottle I have under my sink. So I thought I would just use it up. This is by The Body Shop. This is from their Vitamin E line and it is their Aqua Boost Essence Lotion. This is so amazing for sensitive skin. So I have a whole video talking about how I cleared up my acne and how I cleared up my over exfoliation. And this was one of the key items Items to really hydrating my skin without irritating anything so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same where I just apply it on my hand and then I just press it into my skin 
Now you wanna think of toners as an agent to balance the pH of your skin plus adding an additional aspect. So this one is hydration. And then with the essence, it kind of just helps as almost like a liquid lotion if you wanna think of it that way, where it's going to offer you the hydration, but it's also going to sink deeper into the skin. For my serum, I've actually been using this drugstore one. This is by OK. It is their illuminating serum, and this has vitamin B3 and hyaluronic acid. It's just a jelly serum, and it does offer hydration. I haven't been using this for that long, and I'm already like done with it. So um, I guess you can say that it's not long lasting at all. I do like it, I enjoy it. Plus, it's sulfate free, gluten free, and it's suitable for vegans, and it's also cruelty free. If you are somebody who has dry skin or any dry patches on the skin, I feel like this is great because it doesn't burn the skin at all. I don't wanna say I have sensitive skin, but I can tell when something isn't suitable for sensitive skin. Um, sometimes the ingredients can feel a little hot on the skin, not essentially like burning my skin, but you know, you know what I mean. I'm gonna let the serum sit on the skin for a little bit and while it does that, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some lip balm. So I found this lip balm in my drawer. This is by Biosance. I believe this is like one of their newer items. This is their Rose Vegan Lip Balm and it's supposed to nourish and visibly plump the lips. Listen, you guys know I am very picky with my lip balms. Very, very picky. I don't think I recommend this one. Um, although it does work and although I'm almost done, you guys know I like actually using up my lip balms. This one just sits on top of the lips and it takes a lot of this product to actually really sink in. Now, of course, after I apply it, it looks visibly plump. Yes, and why? It's because it just looks like a gloss and I feel like anything with that glossy finish instantly makes your lips look bigger and plumper. Um, but I just feel like with the hydration aspect, I feel like there are so many other lip balms on the market that's a little bit more affordable than this um, and that'll also offer more hydration. If you guys want my little lip balm guide, then I highly recommend watching my lip balm video. I know it's so weird that I had to film it, but uh, I think it'll help some of you guys. So let's go ahead and mosey on into moisturizer. I have here my First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Oil Control Moisturizer. This stuff is actually really amazing if you're looking for something super hydrating that's not going to look shiny on the skin, but is going to feel hydrating all day long. So if you are somebody who has oily skin and you don't want that added oil, then this is probably the moisturizer that I would recommend from First Aid Beauty. I also have a video reviewing all of the First Aid Beauty products that are in my collection. So if you guys are curious, so this is what my skin looks like. It looks hydrated, but once it dries down, it does dry to that soft matte finish. It doesn't feel like a soft matte finish though. It, um doesn't have that film. I feel like with a lot of um, moisturizers that do dry down to that soft matte finish, it has like a weird texture on the skin. It doesn't have that, it gives the appearance, but it just doesn't have that weird texture. So I'm gonna go in with some SPF. This is my Shiseido SPF. This is one of my favorites. I highly recommend this if you are looking for a invisible sunscreen that does not smell like sunscreen. I've tried so many on the market and I feel like I always go back to Shiseido, whether it's this one or the scent one which is um, only sold at in Japan I love the way this feels on the skin it doesn't have that greasy texture it just has this nice moisturizing effect on the skin to wrap up my skincare routine, I have this product from Laneige. This is the Cream Skin Mist. It's for normal to dry skin. Now, last year, I actually finished up the Cream Skin Toner, and I love that. That was so amazing. I think that was one of my favorite Laneige products in general, and my sister loves that one too, which is why she wants to take this one from me. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just shake it up real quick, and hopefully it's a super fine mist. Oh, it is, yes. Mm-hmm. No fragrance, it just feels ultra hydrating. This is really amazing. So the benefits of this is for hydration and radiance, and it provides hydration for up to 24 hours with a subtle glow. So if you're somebody who wants to set your makeup with this, then 
yeah, go for it and you'll look dewy and luminous all freaking day. Today's primer of choice is going to be the Juno Moonshine. I really love this for not only myself, but my clients as well. This is like the perfect pore filling primer, but also offers a lot of hydration to the skin. It has avocado oil, so it's really going to sink deep down into the skin to really nourish it. My mom bought me this foundation. I love her for that. This is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation, and I have the shade Punjab. I'm really excited to try this. I think I've tried it once on my channel, maybe because my sister had it. Um, and I honestly can only remember that it took like four pumps for my full face because it was so watery. Yeah, she sounds watery. But I've heard great things about this foundation, so I'm hoping that this just looks so amazing on the skin. My mom actually found this for me at Marshall's and, oh, she's so watery, she's so watery. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Yeah, the first few pumps were weird. Okay, um, but like I was saying, my mom found this for $15 at TJ Maxx and I was like super shook and I was like, oh my God. So she bought it for me. I know I'm on a no buy, but Mama Yin bought it. Mama Yin did, I didn't. You know, I wasn't going for a super full coverage look because my skin actually looks really good. Um, I'm having really good skin days lately, so I think this finish is definitely something up my alley. I think when my sister first bought it and I first tried it, I was like super into full coverage because I was super insecure about my skin at the time. But I think when I have this on with like my good skin, I think it looks really amazing. I am using a lot of pumps though. The pumps don't even give you a whole bunch, so I don't know what's going on with that. You know what? I think compared to the Makeup Forever Reboot foundation that I have, I think I like this a little bit more because it actually matches me and it actually gives me that like my skin but better because you can still see some of my sunspots on this cheek. I know I'm a little far away for you guys to really see it, but I feel like this just looks more like me. The Reboot foundation looks nice, it feels nice, but there's something about it where it just doesn't make me look like me. It's like, I don't know, fake. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with some concealer. This is my Tarte Shape Tape. I love this stuff so much. I'm actually only gonna do a very little bit because this foundation is more of a my skin but better, so I'm not gonna try and do super full coverage concealer. While I blend out this concealer, let's talk a little bit about what's going on with the fires. So the air quality has been great. Um, according to the weather app, it's been good, um, which is great because the skies are actually blue now. There's not a lot of thick smoke in the air. My throat is feeling so much better. I was feeling like really weird because um, the smoke was causing my throat to like feel really tight. And now I just feel like I could breathe again. It's just a good time. So I'm happy that all the fires have gone down and that the air quality is back to normal because it's been a really crazy month with all these fires. I'm gonna take my favorite Shot Masse banana powder and I'm gonna use that on my Sigma F88. And I'm gonna go ahead and set everywhere that I applied my concealer just to make sure that it's all set in place and that it's not going anywhere. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna set my whole face because I am going to wear a mask today and I wanna make sure that the foundation in this area is not gonna go anywhere. So switching things up. And then I'm also gonna take some on my forehead here. Yes. The foundation itself doesn't feel super heavy. I think that for my full face here, I definitely had to use like, like six pumps, but the first couple of pumps were a little questionable. So uh, I'm gonna skip over that. But yeah, I think now we can move on into brows. I really love the way my complexion is looking. It's just so natural, but not. Like it's just like good. Lately, I've been filling in my eyebrows with just powder. There's something about it that just looks so natural. Like, wow, did you get your eyebrows tinted? Like, no girl, 
it's just powder so I'm gonna use my favorite wet and wild eyebrow powder in the shade ash brown I'm gonna use the lightest shade with my real techniques brow brush so I'm gonna go ahead and take some of that and as always I always start in the middle of my brow and then I work my way down the tail Look at how easy this is. And then I just take the remainder of the product and I just bring it towards the front of the brow. Like, ma'am, how easy can you get? Last night, my dad got the mail and my degrees from college came in. I am so incredibly happy. I have five degrees for business. Yes, girl. She's Miss CEO, Miss Executive, Miss Small Business Owner. Yes, love to see it. I'm gonna take a super small eyebrow brush. This is the Sigma E75, and I'm gonna just do some hair-like strokes. So I'm just gonna do upward strokes in the front of the brow just to make it look more natural. And then of course, I'm gonna take my Tarte Shape Tape and I'm gonna use that as an eye base and also a way to clean up my brows. So I'm gonna just take that all over the eyelid and bring up the concealer just to shape it out like that. And it just looks so much more clean and crisp and it is just like a one and done step. My brows are on, they're looking pretty natural in my opinion. Maybe some of you guys think I look like Guy Sensei, I don't know. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and use the Sahara palette. Um, today I don't really wanna do anything like super crazy with my eyeshadow look. I think I definitely wanna stay in the like pinkish realm here in the palette. So I'm gonna take the color Sands from the Sahara palette and this is by Alter Ego. If you guys wanna save some money on your Alter Ego purchase, you can use the code That's So Yin at checkout. Super excited about that. I never thought I would get a code with Alter Ego, but hey, we're here, we're making moves. I love it so much. And this shade is going to act as our base shade for all of the other eyeshadows that we will lay on top. This pink is calling my name and that is Savannah. And we are going to take that on the Sigma E40 and pop this into the crease as a transition. So we are gonna go a little higher than the natural crease just because we want this one to be like the blending shade for everything to come. As you see, it looks a little bit messy right now, but trust the process. We're gonna go into a smaller brush. This is the Sigma E35. And I'm gonna take Adobe, and this is gonna be our crease shade. So to find the crease, you wanna take your brush and literally just jab it in your eye and then go into windshield wiper motions. And that's going to be your direct crease. So with this color, you just wanna keep building up and this is just going to create that natural pink hue into the crease. So as you see with that color, it just adds a little bit of depth to the eye look and it just makes it look a little bit more pulled together. This side kind of just looks like a wash of color, which is not what we're going for. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same to the other eye just to even it out. All over the eyelid, we're gonna take Mirage, and this is the Sigma E55. It's a typical eyeshadow brush, we all have one. And I'm gonna go ahead and pat this all over the eyelid from inner corner to outer corner. I want this look to be a little bit more soft, which is why I'm not doing like a half cut crease or a half uh, shimmery lid. I want this to be all over. And then, right in the center here, I'm gonna take the shade called Jewel. And that has more of a pinker tone. And I'm gonna take that right here so it could add the most shine and pop to this eye look. And then I'm also gonna take that into the inner corner as well. And then I'm just gonna take my time to like blend this all together in tapping motions. Just like that. Super easy. The shimmer is probably like the easiest part of an entire eye look. I think sometimes blending can be a little bit more difficult because you're trying to make it look as natural as possible. While shimmers, you could literally just slap on and go. For my eyeliner, I'm gonna do a red tone. This is from ColourPop, and this one is in the shade Try Me. Oh, try me, bitch. As you guys know, I don't really like these eyeliners. I feel like they are really dry and the tip is not that sharp. So it's really hard to get a nice crisp wing sometimes 
or to even match the wings on both sides because sometimes the tip can look sharp on one eye and then dull on the other. Lately I've been in love with a bronzy under eye so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the Real Her I Am Resilient eyeliner and I'm going to go ahead and line this on my waterline and lash line so this line is going to be really thick and I'm going to take that on both eyes. If you guys also want to save on Real Her, you can definitely use the code that's all you at checkout as well. And then to blend out that bronze, we're going to take our initial shade here called Savannah and we are going to look up into our mirror and just blend this down. Because we dragged down the bronze, the light pink layered on top is going to make it look a little bit more dramatic and a little darker. So we don't have to go in with too many steps down here. And just an added step, I'm going to take Sierra on this super thin brush. This is the Sigma E20. And I'm going to tap this right at the base of where I applied that brown liner. And this is going to make it look like I have more eyeliner underneath my eyes. For my mascara, I feel like I haven't really been using the Fenty Beauty Full Frontal, so that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to do a generous coat on my top and bottom lashes. And this mascara is actually really good. I think that compared to the Lash Freak from Urban Decay, I think I might like the Urban Decay one a little bit better and that's only because of the wand. Uh, the Urban Decay has like this dip in the wand where it really just hugs all of the lashes all at once. But this one builds up beautifully. So it does give you different effects with these different brushes. For lashes, we're going to go in with a very old favorite. In 2018, all I wore were the Eiler Marquise lashes. We're going to bring her back. So I'm going to go ahead and look down into a mirror and I'm going to go ahead and apply it outer corner first. I like to align it with my wing and then I align it into the inner corner and then pinch through the entire lash. These are definitely my favorite drugstore lashes, things that you could buy in stores. It just looks so pretty and just so full, just gives you that perfect baby doll vibe. As we all know and love, the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, I am determined to finish this. I don't care how many tutorials I'm gonna have to film this year, but we're gonna be using it every single tutorial. Actually, that's a bold claim, almost every single one. This is a great bronzer, but if you're looking for something that won't ever die, don't get it. Don't do it. Don't put yourself through the misery, please. This product literally will last you centuries. It is just so insane. But the color payoff and everything about this is so beautiful. Everything just looks extra stunning on the skin. You all haven't really seen me use this blush by Kevin Aquan. Love it so much. This one is the Neo blush in the shade Sunset and I'm gonna take um, in this area here and I'm going to go ahead and apply that onto the cheeks. Don't want this to be too loud because my eye look is a little bit more on the pink side today. So I don't want this to like look super crazy. This highlight here is new from Revolution and this one is the Goddess Glow Finishing Powder. Okay, it's a finishing powder, not a highlighter, but on the package it says you can use it as highlighter. So I want to test that out. Ooh, wow. This does not look like Makeup Revolution. This looks really expensive. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. There's a little puff on the top here. Oh, this kind of looks like the Hourglass powder. Oh, I think that's what they're trying to dupe here. Now this one is in the shade Radiate, which is the lightest shade out of the two that they have. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip in my highlighter brush. Okay. Ooh. That's a lot. That's a lot. Oh. Oh, messed up. I messed up. Oh, sheared out. 
that's really pretty um, as far as a finishing powder like to set the entire face I definitely don't see it um, a lot of people do use these type of glowy powders like under their eyes and everything I feel like if you have a lot of texture under there don't do it um, but I actually want to see what that looks like so I'm gonna take a little bit <laughs> just a little and just see what that gives me that's cute um i don't know about it like i feel like if revolution hadn't sent it to me i would have completely skipped over this and i think that's the same with just me applying it as well like it's not something i would necessarily run out to the store and buy it is really pretty and it gives you like this beautiful ethereal glow but i don't think she's special I'm going to take this Fenty Beauty Slip Shine and this one's in Tang Thang. That's kind of cute. A little pop of color on the lips. Yeah. And then also by Revolution, they have this spray. It is the 24 karat gold. And this has a lot of gold at the bottom. So I'm really trying to shake it up real quick. Okay, we're going to try it on the face. I don't really like shimmery sprays like this for the face, but who knows? Maybe it's good. Mm, smells like perfume. Oh, whoa. That smells really strong. Woo! to finish off this look for you guys and I decided to do a high ponytail today so because my hair is short I decided to do a half up half down situation so the first half is actually this little pink scrunchie and then the bottom half is held up by a small thin black elastic so it makes my ponytail look longer and it also makes my layers look a little bit more cohesive as opposed to super crazy I also curled the sides of my hair straightened the bangs and I added on the these really cute earrings from Idle Hour on Etsy. Super cute and adorable. Like these are just to die for. All of her accessories are just super stunning. I have quite a handful of them and I could tell you I haven't been disappointed at all. So I'm super excited with the way that this look turned out. I love it paired with this top that I have. It's a square neck here and it kind of just makes this whole look super girly. The pops of pink definitely just make this super fresh and fun and flirty and this is definitely like a date night type of look I definitely feel like my boyfriend would really appreciate it if I went out looking like this but to tie everything in together I think that the new foundation the NARS foundation was probably like the best that I had in this entire like first impressions get ready with me video um, it did look really stunning upon application and it still looks stunning now I am really excited to see how long it wears the last time I wore it when I borrowed it from my sister it lasted all day long which was great um, as far as the revolution things are concerned I don't recommend it I think it's a waste of money to be honest um, I didn't pay for it they actually sent it to me via PR but I wouldn't have spent my money on it anyways it's just like your very mediocre launch like with just golden hues here and there the highlight is really pretty but I just have so many highlights in my collection that definitely top this and that definitely require less blending um, but still will give me that nice beautiful luminescent sheen as far as the skincare that I use that were new the Dermalogica and Laneige I'm giving those to my sister because she wants them so what my sister wants is what she will get because she's older than me um, but I'm really excited about it I think Laneige the cream skin line is really amazing through and through if you have really dry skin or if you're looking to have like that glass skin effect that's a line that you want, might want to check out as far as Dermalogica I'm going to be using some of the Dermalogica things that I got from PR that I want to use the mask she wants it like 
she doesn't want me to use it more than in this video. I just wanted to test it out, see what it's all about because I haven't used Dermalogica ever. So um, that was a really good first impression. I feel like through and through, I'm not disappointed with the way my makeup turned out. And I'm really excited to celebrate my cousin's birthday today. So I hope you guys all really enjoyed today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like this video and comment down below what you think about this makeup look and if you would try anything that I've used in this video. As always, I love you all so much and I will definitely see you guys in my next one. Bye. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Thank you.